Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 34. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here now for the Class B International Tour. Uh, we are touring internationally. International Super Spy. Uh, we're going to start off with the Nürburgring, then Silverstone, Circuit de Catalunya. Hockenheim Ring, Indianapolis, Camino Vida Montserrat, and then finishing off with Infineon. All of these are the full circuits now, bar Infineon, so pretty neato. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Time to drive the Beamer. Zim Zima in my motherfucking Beamer. Pretty sure this was the car that I selected to actually drive. Also, what the hell's happened to the Mustang's body there? Did you see that? The left-hand side of it looked like it was absolutely caved in. Reaching out for something to hold. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolute sinker there. I actually quite like how this Z4 drives though. I think it's one of the better cars. I'm trying to see who wins. Oh my gosh, I'm winning. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, Zeno, you lost it, man. Unbelievable. It rigged. You know, Zeno, as soon as this battle royale's finished, you can just start one <laughs> straight away, right? I got 500 credits. Nice. Went race car in practice today, went about 90 down the straight. Honestly, c racing carts is like probably one of the most exciting things ever. Like you're in this, what is basically just a dinner tray with wheels and an engine. See, the battle royale does work if you've got 500 credits. <laughs> That's the only issue. No worries, Rack. See you later, man. Obviously, keep an eye out on that Dirt Rally stream as it's probably... Uh, I'm going to have to, like, reschedule. Um, what's it called? The next week's streams. So, a lot of things might shuffle around. Bad. Mm. Whoa, a little bit wide there. <laughs> Zeno died. Sorry, I was watching the uh, 
Stream avatars, there's no way. Oh, got it. <laughs> I honestly, I haven't even like if here's the issue, Zeno. It's bugging me that I'm winning so many times that I want to rig it so that I don't win. I want it rigged against me, and I can't even work out how to do that. So Lovely. Oh, and I got the Porsche 918. Way. Holy crap. Is that a Supra? Yeah, it's literally a Supra. Literally a Supra. Holy crap, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Lovely juggler. I think what I might do, um, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure yet. So this isn't fully decided. Yeah. AI is really, I think this car is ridiculously fast because this feels so much quicker than the uh, other cars I was driving. Um, this isn't confirmed, but I think the plan is when Forza Motorsport comes out, on release day, I'll play through the game, just as normal. And then I'll play an hour of Forza Motorsport before every... Or maybe I might do like a Forza Motorsport 4 stream, where I'm playing all Motorsport 4. Then a Motorsport 8 stream, where I might do half and half. Um, or all of the Forza streams might be an hour or two of Motorsport 8, and then an hour or two of Motorsport 4. So, I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I might go for the half and half route on all the streams. But I need a good way to be able to shift from one stream to another. such a great line one of the best in the world Not bad. This is a good start so far. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a great day. Everyone that is in chat. Uh, 
By the way, chat, I, I have something a little confusing. Um, I've literally only done two lessons today. Honestly, some of the... Year 11 was shit for me. It was crap. I wasn't a great fan of it. I didn't enjoy it. To be fair, I think as soon as you start getting to the later years in school, it's a little bit boring. Like, school's too long. Too many years. Way too many years. Um, yeah, so episode 16 of this series um, came out a couple days ago. Two days ago. Three, three days ago. Two, three days ago. So it came out some days ago. And it's at 560 views at the moment. Uh, which is a little bit odd. Because uh, I kind of wasn't expecting any views like that. But like... It's got some crazy... Oh, we're simplifying ad controls for pre-roll, post-roll, skippable, non-skippable ads to extend best practices. Ah, oh, good. Dealing with the adverts can be a bit of a pain in the backside. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Vroom! What is bro doing? Don't know. I'm driving. I'm racing around. I'm actually really excited uh, to play some more Starfield tonight. Because I think after the stream, I'm just going to sit down and play Starfield. In the dark. I don't regret. Rattling noise, I don't like it. Hello. <laughs> Completely overshot that corner there. Oh well, gives me a chance to actually race now. I'll catch up within two corners. I'm blind, I'm blind. Beep, beep. Coming through. No, I'm going up the inside. Going up the inside. Inside has gone up. Car behind is nine. No, not nine seconds. 0 0.9 seconds behind. Honestly, I'm so excited for WRC when that releases. Because as soon as WRC releases, oh my gosh, I'm playing. I, I have the intention to do a crossover stream. So I want to do Dirt Rally and then crossover into WRC. Um, hopefully. The key word is hopefully. I also hope that WRC is uh, Steam Deck compatible. Because if it's not, it's going to really ruin the experience. I'm not going to lie though, the um, the cover art that they've actually released for WRC, because obviously they, because of the, I think it's because of the WRC license anyways, but they have to have different, 
cars on the actual cover. I think the condition is the fact that each car needs to be centre stage and have an equal opportunity. So with the old WRC games, they just made three different covers for each platform. And I think they've sort of kept that for the new license as well and just said each car needs to have its own platform. So for PC, you've got the Ford Puma in Sweden, which actually looks pretty sick. Um, you have the i20 for Xbox going through a water splash. I couldn't say what country that would be. Uh, and then you've got the Toyota Yaris going through dust and dirt in uh, Kenya. And the cover images look so cool. It takes time to heal. It takes a woman to know that. Sweat in buckets. Ow. Just poke myself in the eye. This is the issue with the UK, right? And everyone that goes, Oh, the UK's not that hot. It's quite a cold country compared to, like, Australia and what... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anybody that says about, like, our Brits will always complain about... Our country is built for cold weather. And it's built... Because we had all sorts of government schemes for saving fuel and just stop oil and whatnot, that our houses now have to be built to a certain standard to withstand temperatures, cold temperatures, so that people don't have to pay so much for heating. But the only issue with that is, is them fucking hot when it's hot outside. Exactly. 100%. And when you're outside, the, the issue is, when you go outside, a place that normally is quite warm, you sort of stay inside to keep cool, whatnot. Outside, yeah, it's cooler, but it's not significantly cooler. It's still 30 degrees outside, so you can't go outside to cool off. It's so, so bad literally being boiled alive. Way. There we go, lovely. Not bad. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Ah! 
Uh, oh. I still haven't done my uh, Instagram story, so I might have to do that in a sec. And I might post a reel at the same time as well. Instagram reels have been doing amazingly, by the way, for me, uh, views-wise. I think I've reached like 4,000, 5,000 accounts, which seems nuts to be able to reach that number in what is less than a week. I tried not to lie to you. Didn't get me that far. One thing I am quite excited about the WRC game is the fact that it's been confirmed that classic cars are going to be in it because of the uh, replay and whatnot. By the looks of it, WRC 2's in it, and subsequently I assume WRC 3 as well because 3 has similar to that. But uh, as far as it goes, like I, d I really hope. It's going to have a compelling story. And obviously the... Uh, what's it called? The design your own car. Your own rally car. Looks awesome. And have your own rally team. This seems so cool. And if it's like my team on F1. I'm going to be absolutely hooked. It's going to be one hell of a game. I really hope so. Come on. Let's get around these corners. Not bad. I will take that one. Click continue. I'm a BMW enthusiast. According to this. Lovely jubbly. I'll take it. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Zim Zima. Who got the keys to my motherfucking Beamer? I love the BMW Z4. I think it's a sick car. So hot. Unbelievable. <laughs> this fan that I've got next to me is on maximum. Yo, Phoenix, what up? Uh, this is Forza Motorsport 4. Uh, it's an old game from uh, 2011 on the uh, Xbox 360. It's similar to Gran Turismo. Uh, it, it's Xbox's version of Gran Turismo, basically. So, Gran Turismo has obviously existed for a long time, but Xbox then came out and they made a racing game for Xbox that was exclusive to Xbox, and that's what this is. It's a very good game, though. Kind of ironic though that Gran Turismo 4 and Forza Motorsport 4 are both the peak of their respective games series.
absolutely love this game. The fridge is trying to make an appearance on stream. It's currently peeking through behind my chair. Fridge, go away. <laughs> On to lap number two. This thing is so quick on the straights. so excited to move on to like the later Forza games because even though Motorsport 4 is the best I still really am craving playing some of the like newer Forza titles the basement people to the basement many surprises await Oh, understeered. Not ideal. Gotta go because I have to go to sleep. But have a good day, life. If we don't meet again, still gonna sub to you though. Well, I appreciate it, man. I very much appreciate it. Hopefully, you have a good day. Uh, hopefully, we do see you again soon because uh, we play a lot of racing game content here. So, if you're into racing games, this would be a great place. But yeah, have yourself a good day. Thank you so much for stopping by. And have a good sleep. Ah, oh, no, you've understood. Come on, keep it going. Come on. There we go, not bad. bad good good driving so far I'm actually loving how this car feels I'm very much starting to get used to Forza handling mechanics again as well 
But uh, I definitely need to get back into Dirt Rally. Get used to those. I might actually install it on my Steam Deck place on while I'm at work tomorrow maybe. Who knows? A little bit wide there. This is the final lap. It's the final countdown. Mini mini, mini mini, mini mini, mini Oh, this is a tune. Starts again. Kick, kick, starts. Same old me. You get bored and I get cold feet. Get high, get wandering eyes. Forget, and I've never ever had it so sweet. Look down here, we're going a golden crown. My princess, and I don't want to let you down. No, I don't want to let you down. Down, down. Not bad. Across the finish line. Oh, we're level 49, so we've got a modern LMP2 car. I believe the next level is the last one, but I don't think F FM4 has, like, a level limit. I think beyond that, you just get credit rewards. 
I'm going to go for this one. This one looks sick. I like the design. Anything green. I, I like green on cars. I don't know why. All right, here we go. It's the Beamer. It's the BMW. The BMW. Wibble Wobble U. Wibble Wobble U. I don't even know what I'm on about. Anyways, we're around Hockenheim Ring for this race, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm actually quite a big fan of Hockenheim Ring. I think it's actually one of the better tracks around Germany. It's a lot better than Nürburgring, that's for sure. I don't know, have they confirmed Hockenheim Ring? I think it's one of the tracks that might have been taken out of Motorsport 8, which is kind of a shame. go not bad from the gameplay that we've seen a lot of the cars in motorsport 8 they look very planted they look very much like how gran turismo would look I think Super GT has a video coming out on the 11th, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm going to be tuned in on that one. There's a girl, there's a girl, there's a girl, there's a girl, she's down by the river, way! Understood a little bit there. Not, not the best line to take, but it's a line nonetheless. Not bad. So hot in here. So hot. Dun, 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 dun. And supply demand. 
Hey, hey. This thing's flowing around these corners really nicely. But it only flows when I'm actually concentrating on the game. That left-right section, though, is the only part that I genuinely cannot keep this car under control. Because the first section of it, or the, the left-hand corner, I'm oversteering. And then in the right hand corner, I'm overcompensating, so you end up just slide, slide. What up, Kodo? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the super chat, my man. Way explosion. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm an ogre-looking face. Fuck. <laughs> I will take the compliment. I know sweating buckets, so I look like an ogre anyways. Get out of me, swamp! Take your time. You are gay. Cheers, Cotto. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not, but thank you very much. I appreciate your words. This is a tune. Ice cream infused with caffeine. Ooh, interesting. I need to give you some, uh, what's it called? Stream avatar currency. I'm doing, if anyone, uh, what's it called? There's a super chat. They get currency, so. So it should say 2074 now. 
infinity. By the way, did you do that super chat on your iPhone? I have a feeling you did it on your iPhone because it ends with 99. And that's what the iPhone <laughs> super chats are. Are you you're gonna spin it all on slots? Are you Okay? Yeah, so iPhone takes an extra 50% cut. So that's equivalent to a 99 pence super chat on Google. <laughs> oh, Cotto's won 1500 from the slots. Way. I hate the fact that Apple does that, though. Like, for certain things like super chats. They should have an exception where they don't do the Apple tax. But yeah, Super Chatting on Apple is literally the worst way of doing it. Because it just means you end up spending more money and the creators get less. It's literally the reason why you don't go on Twitch anymore. Or why I don't go on Twitch anymore. Because it just costs a significant amount. Apple are greedy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.